water trail. I think it makes it. I think what's unique about it in terms of Pennsylvania's water trail system, we've got a great we've got a great interpretive system. We have 21 interpretive signs that provide place-based education. They talk to you about archaeology. They talk to you about the history, the agriculture, uh, everything. Waterfowl hunting, the migratory birds on the Canajahela Flats. Canajahela Flats in itself is a notable location. The uh, Audubon Society says this is an important birding area. Thousands of species of birds uh, migrate, and it's a green ground for. For, for, for birds from hemispheres from all around the world. Uh, this, this section of the water trail also cuts through the uh, Susquehanna Piedmont Gorge. Right out the window here is the Susquehanna Gorge. Beautiful, uh, one of a kind in terms of geologic formations. Uh, this section of the, the water trail is unique for its uh, uh, river potholes and deeps. Uh, this section is also notable for the Native American rock art that's below the safe harbor dam, the Petro. Well, thank you all. I'm certainly delighted to be here to celebrate with you with your new National Recreation Trail designation. These are designated by the Secretary of the Interior, Dirk Kempthorne, and uh, we, the National Park Service, are one of the partners in uh, working with the National uh, Trail System. And you are now part of that National Trail System. Uh, this year, um, we do have the, a letter here that uh, designates the uh, Susquehanna River Water Trail, and then along the lower sections is an NRT. And uh, this this is special because it is it is a um, you know it's it's again you're part of now this national system of trails. I mean, think about it. We do have like the Appalachian Trail. There are. North Country Trail, Potomac Heritage Trail, Allegheny Passage, North Country. Some of these are scenic trails um, and accompanying these scenic and some historic trails. There's also this whole network of national recreation trails. Well, uh, you know, the Susquehanna River watershed is a huge, huge area. And I think what the Greenway does is it links um, a lot of the, the, the um, recreational efforts um, and the river community efforts that are already underway, it links them together um, so that uh, it's not unheard of now for people from a recreational standpoint for people to take a kayaking trip from Cooperstown, New York, where the Susquehanna River starts, to Port Deposit, Maryland, where it empties into the Chesapeake Bay. So the Greenway really, you know, gives us the tool to link everything together so that as we're out in the community and we're talking to people or they're saying, gee, I'd really like to do a really big paddle trip, hey, here's one that traces back to the, to the you know, Native Americans. You can retrace those steps and their maps almost the whole way. And, you know, because of different projects that were a part of the Greenway, that's a very doable trip now. It's, it's a challenge, but it's doable.